Arsch geht's. Joe Rogan's a complicated man. He's both philosopher king and angry tomato. Tender soul and emperor of the chimps. His pineal gland is so full, it's at risk of popping like an overripe astrological cyst. Yet he is a deeply rational being. How do you distill that? Well, so far I've got him wrestling a chimp and threatening to stick a finger up its ass, which I think is pretty close. Okay, so here's the plan. I've come up with and written a supremely dumb cartoon about Joe Rogan. For the past week and a half, Don has been on a much needed vacation, but he gets back tomorrow, which as of recording is the 8th of August. I've sent in the script and bar a couple of notes, he's agreed this is what we are making, but we have to get it out by the 18th, otherwise we could lose our brand deals, which is kind of what's making these more elaborate cartoons possible in the first place. Now I'm gonna throw up. The spinning was supposed to be metaphorical. Uh, speak, speaking of brand deals, do you want to ruin your life in a good way? Good. Cause that's what will happen when you download Rage Shadow Legends. You'll be so enthralled by its super sick graphics and yummy gameplay that you'll forget to eat or even drink. Don't believe me? I'll dig your grave myself. You still haven't downloaded it, have you? That's because you're a skeptical asshole. Look, it maintains one of the highest rated scores on the App Store and on the Google Play Store. It's also got dope PvP, an immersive storyline, and a ton of unique champions for you to unlock. I like this one. He's handsome. Best of all, gents, it's 100% free. Look, I'll even bribe you. If you're a good boy and you sign up through the link in the description below, you get 50,000 silver, a free epic champion, and an unironic dab on the house. You're welcome. Hey, John. No. Gotta get some VO for the cartoon. You have a good holiday? No. So, this Gantt chart. Donnie, you have to be on camera. This Gantt chart. Come on. This Gantt chart dictates the next 10 days of your life. I've scheduled five days for animation with Yasser's help, uh, which I think is pretty doable. But what do you think? I haven't slept in like 30 hours. Well, that is great news uh, because we have a voice call for the VO in two hours. You better go get a nap, mister. <laughs> All right, boys, let's hammer this out. How's it going, Ethan? Don, Don, how you doing, sir? First off, <laughs> just want to say, Don, you're doing a wonderful job drawing all of those Chinese cartoons that the incels like to jerk off to. Uh, <laughs> Joe Rogan back in the saddle. Shut up, Ethan. You shut up. Oh, fuck. See how that works? <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I've learned so much. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, Joe Rogan, Connor. There we go, Joe Rogan. How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? I think it's that, sir. 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 How you doing, sir? Wrong. <laughs> Every time you do something stupid, I'm gonna flash that picture of you behind the cucks. <laughs> behind the cucks backboard. It was an appropriate photo, I think. It was great. <clears throat> How you doing, sir? Ooh. That was nice. Mm, that was good. <laughs> Gosh. That's crazy, man. Have you ever tried DMT? That's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. Have you ever tried DMT? It's so stupid. Hey, <laughs> whoa, crazy. Listen, drugs? But that's what he does. <laughs> yeah. He fuck, uh, yeah, someone's you're right. like, yeah. Someone's like, I carried my father upstairs as he was dying in my arms and I laid him down in the bed. And then he's like, that's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. You ever tried DMT? <laughs> <laughs> so for this line with the Jamie shit, it's like a subversion, right? So it starts like you think he needs Jamie's help to escape the trap. Yeah, right? okay. With the chimp fucking him up. Jamie, J Jamie, quickly, put, put. Jamie, Jamie, J Jamie. You gotta really yell. Uh, Break your voice, Ethan. No, I. No, it's impossible. <laughs> uh, Jamie? J 
Jamie! Really belt that second one. Jamie? J Jamie! I feel like uh, you're still not like fully letting go. Break your voice for us. Do you want your a hundred dollars or not? <laughs> that is uh You've convinced me. Alright. <laughs> Jamie! J Jamie! Pull, pull, pull up that video of the dog killing a king cobra. Pull up the video of the dog killing a king cobra. Out of context, it sounds so weird because I am assuming he just like puts up random animal violence videos. And then this like guest that came on to talk about their fucking book is now watching this like innocent <laughs> animal get torn apart. <laughs> well, he and Jamie are like, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Boom! Do you see that? Stop! Stop it! It's just weed! It's a plant! It needs to be more like uh, struggling with like a toddler who won't eat their food. Okay. It's, it's a plant. It's just a plant. It's legal now. Eat, <laughs> eat it. Just eat it. Just eat the, eat, eat the weed. <laughs> okay, I think we probably got it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! It's cartoon Joe Rogan. Sweet. All right. Give me a, give me a high five, Ethan. Hey, good job. Good job, Ethan. To the, to the camera. Oh, to, sorry. I was touching my screen like an idiot. <laughs> 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 you, you, high five rescinded. You don't deserve it anymore. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, before drawing even begins, sometimes we make something called a radio play. What's a radio play? Shut up, you stupid. Listen. A ra <laughs> the goal with a radio play is to build the cartoon just out of sound, as if it were going to be played on the radio. That way you can tell if the cartoon is funny before you waste time animating it. Every one of these little colored blocks is a sound perfectly placed for your precious little ears. But oftentimes we can't find good sounds, so we have to get creative. Okay, monkey growls. Are you actually biting your arm? Yes. That's pretty good. Oh god, now I've got to choke myself. Yeah. Very good. Two years ago, we made a cartoon called Crazy Conor McGregor. Give me your pants! No! Where Conor tries to wrestle fuck Joe Rogan into giving him his belt. What? Give me your pants! What are you, me, what are you doing, Conor? And that was like a solid day of the most painful, mind-numbing puppet animation I have ever done. I fuck promised myself that I'd never get stuck animating some jujitsu bullshit ever again. Then I went on vacation and Tom wrote a script that's 25% jujitsu bullshit. So the challenge has been, how do you fill the space? Joe has to go for like 170 frames before fully closing his choke. So what does he do until then? Made up BJJ bullet. I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I just made a bunch of stuff up. I've just got him like scrambling to respond to the chimp's big stupid movements. Then later when we get to this edible part, I've only laid out the poses so far, but the monkey sort of changes into like a whiny toddler, but it still has to feel like an animal. So he's gonna have these big movements like swatting Joe's brownie away or pulling his hands up to his body. I've had to draw so many fucking hands. <sighs> Anyways, gotta wrap the rest of this up tomorrow, get those tweens going, fix some other things, and put it on YouTube, and then read your mean comments about the BJJ. So yeah, we'll see you then. So it's actually been a couple of days since release. We kind of just had to drop it like a hot fucking potato and get straight into editing this making of. We had 10 days from when Don got back from his vacation to make this cartoon and we actually kept time sheets. In the final week, we both worked over 100 hours to get this thing together. And that was with using the brand deal money to get help with additional animation from Yaz and backgrounds from Greg, so thank you gents. So some pretty cool things did happen after release. Joe Rogan saw the video and retweeted it, which is pretty fun. 
jokes and he also follows us on social media. Uh, yeah. Brendan Shaw, on the other hand, didn't end up retweeting it, which is food for thought. My favorite part about all of this was after Tom made Don is a beta loser.net, everybody ended up calling Tom a beta. So you know what? I think this was actually a pretty good week. See you guys next time.